in the last tutorial we're looking at commands like a command like ls list and then taking the ls command and adding an argument like dash l which is um, list long for long format and we can even stack the arguments and put an a on there right to for all and so we could see all the files and we got page of output now in this ubuntu system if you see this page of output you're actually missing some of the output um, possibly when it fills the whole screen you wonder did i miss something now with the new ubuntu um, terminal it's got this little tool on the side that allows you to scroll through but um, I have not seen this before this is kind of a new thing and I haven't really seen that in uh, terminal shells before so typically I wouldn't rely on that so you're gonna need to know how to control the output so for instance I'm gonna type clear here let's say we wanted to list right um, and we wanted to list long format and we wanted all files but we wanted to look at the root etc directory right and if I do that you'll see that um, I'm only seeing the files here from S to X or to Z right so what about it looks like we missed quite a few files there right so what we did was we basically said okay I'm using the up arrow now I want to do this right I want to list long and all the et the etc directory but I'm gonna pipe this process I'm gonna pipe this program to another um, program I'm gonna set up a sequence of processes and this pipe command comes from the old Unix system of uh, pipeline where one program or process um, has output that, uh, standard input and output that sequences these processes one right after the other so we can create a sequence of processes and just pass them one to the other by using this pipe now um, I'll just say pipe to more and if I do that now I see the A's and I see one screen of text and if I want to see the next screen I just hit the space bar and I can see the next screen and the next screen and the next screen and the next screen right and if I want to get out of it I can just hit Q for quit and I'm out I'm gonna type clear again right now another program that will help us see output on the screen is less right and the less um, the less command or the less program let's try that one out so we'll do the same thing we're going to list dash l for long all files in the root etc directory but we're gonna pipe our output to the less command right and if we do that you can see that it doesn't say more at the bottom of the screen we still just see kind of the first page of text here but now what we can do is we can use the up arrow and the down arrow keys to go through the output one line at a time we can also hit the space bar and look at one screen at a time but we can go forward and backwards now you might say well this is kind of obsolete now that you know um, now that we have that scroll bar function on the terminal window but a lot of terminal command line windows don't have that um, feature the ability to scroll through the uh, terminal so um, this is uh, this is very important so how do we get out of this command I've got a colon here and a blinking cursor just hit Q for quit and you'll exit out of the command we've learned that the LS command has these arguments right let's and let's see there's probably more arguments that we don't even know about how do we find information about this ls command that can reveal all of the different arguments that we can use uh, to uh, help direct the command to give us the output that we want well what we can do is we can type the man command for manual and then type ls and it'll give us the man pages or manual pages for the ls command so we'll do that and you can see here that it gives us some output and it tells us ls is short for list directory contents and you can he see there's the dash a for all right here's a dash capital a for almost all um, do not list implied which is the dot and the double dot right let's see here and to go down in this we can use the arrow keys to scroll down in the output from this manual alright file type format G there's all kinds of options 
you can see that these are all the different things that we can do with the ls command. Um, print the index number of each file, dash i for inode. There's the dash l for long list format. Um, all kinds of stuff that are po is possible here. So uh, you can see that quite a few things here. So now I'm just going to, I want to exit out of here. So I'm going to type Q to quit out. So you can do that for any type of command. So if you have a command, you want to find the manual page for it, just type man and then space and then the command, and you should get some input. Also, you could type ls space double dash help, and that's going to give you a shorter uh, version. Notice that um, it's run off the screen, right? So I could use this terminal scroll bar to scroll back up, which is to me a little bit like cheating. Um, but uh, the other way to do it would be to, let's see here, type ls dash dash help, and then what? That's right, pipe to more, and then you've got one screen of output, and then you can use spacebar to see the next screen, and the next screen, and the next screen, and so forth. Alright, I'm going to type clear.